It's interesting that when big tech platforms state that there's no, well, I have to parse my words correctly for YouTube. Let's just say that uh, when a platform or a publisher, if you will, says that uh, there is no election shenanigans, and then you see this, then it's like, um... All right, ABC Wines, Texas prosecuting Democrat for allegedly casting legal primary vote. So the special section of Texas legislator moving ahead this week with activity on their election integrity bills. But on Sunday's Good Morning Edition uh, America, ABC co-anchor Ava Pilgrim was seemingly excited by the idea of another Democratic walkout in Texas and complained that the state prosecutors were going after a Houston Democrat who allegedly cast an illegal vote while on parole for a burglary conviction. Wow, okay. Oh, all right, okay, okay. Now to politics and the battle over the voting rights, quoting her from Ava Pilgrim. The possibility of another mass walkout by Democrats is hanging over this special legislative session in Texas as Republicans try again to pass new voting restrictions. No, 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 it's not restrictions, Ava. If you actually read the bill, in which I had. You see, a lot of these things are things that that some states like New York don't even allow. But where Texas is allowing, same thing with Georgia. They actually made it better. Well, what if you mean you, those the people, the poll workers can't hand out water? No. If you need water, you get it before you go. If you forget... Get out of your line, hop down to the store, buy a bottle of water back in line. This is not this is not rocket surgery. And after suggesting that last walkout resulted in concessions for Republicans, Pilgrim's reporting took a bizarre turn as she whined about Texas prosecutors going after a Democratic voter who had allegedly cast an illegal ballot during the 2020 primary. And of course, I'm going to accentuate this. At the same time, Pilgrim extorted, extolled, Texas authorities are accusing a Houston man who stood in line, a very hot line, and didn't get water from poll workers to vote for six hours last year of voting illegally. Hervis Rogers' determination to vote went viral on social media. Now prosecutors say... He was on parole for a burglary conviction when he cast his vote in the Democratic presidential primary. Imagine my shock. A Democrat who's being charged for burglarly, 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 yeah, that. (laughs) Imagine my thought, shock, that that a criminal, a potential criminal, a, is voting for the Democrats. Imagine my shock, folks. Boys and girls in Lazoland. Rogers got out of bail on yesterday. He is being represented by the... No shit. You, you can't... By the ACLU of Texas. When Pilgrim was done griping about voting integrity laws being upheld, co-anchor Dan Harris, another winner, spoke with Deputy Political Director Avery Harper, who accused the Supreme Court of approving of racial discrimination no 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 let's forget about the fact that he got out on bail for being charged for voting irregularly okay for illegal ballot for casting an illegal ballot but he's also a burglary suspect and i was also a democrat yep this is not to say that there are republicans out there who don't have criminal backgrounds however this just goes to show you that if you're a criminal you usually vote for democrats imagine my shock once again the difference still with texas is that democrats and civil rights leaders are fighting this battle with fewer tools in their arsenal after the supreme court voted to uphold restrictive voting measures in arizona that advocates call discriminatory discriminatory on the basis of race, she decried. But it remains to be seen if public pressure is enough to make any of those changes in any of those states 
or in Washington. NBC Sunday Today also got into the whining after political director Chuck F. Todd, thank you Rush Limbaugh, and host Willie Geist touted the potato for supposedly handling Russian cyber attacks on the U.S. Oh really? The same potato they handed 16 areas to Vladimir Putin that he shouldn't hack. Hey, here's a list of places you shouldn't hack. Oh, thank you, Mr. Potato. I will never hack this. Holy shit. Todd also vented his personal frustrations with his Democrat Socialist Party. I added socialist because they haven't really figured out how to fight is the changing of the administrative laws and the changing who decides which freaking votes counts. My ad, <laughs> I added that. Yeah, I think we're looking for the Republican help that n that neighbor may come. They're disdain for his secure voting system was made possible because of lucrative sponsorships from Macy's and ABC and Cressa and NBC. Their contact information is linked so you can tell them about their biased news they fund. There you go. This goes to show you that the Democrats only give a shit about you if you're a criminal. A flat out flagrant criminal. If you firebomb a police station, don't worry about it. The Democrat prosecutor will let you off. They won't charge you anything. However, if you stumble into a Capitol building on January 6th because some DC cop lets you in and you're kind of looking around going, oh my God, why am I in here? And then you're in solitary fucking confinement. That's okay. That's okay. But you can cast an illegal vote. That's okay because you're the right skin color or the right political ideology. All of this whining and just just belly aching from the goddamn filthy fucking lefty Democrat socialist cocksuckers out there. They need to fucking stop. They need to do introspection. But to really have the Democrats to look upon themselves for introspection is asking way too motherfucking much.